we wanted to build the transformative or winning company of this next kind of era, called the next 20 years. To do that, we had to kind of break the model of a, a lot of what biotech is, which is typically taking an idea and figuring out where can I apply it best. And with Sana, what we've tried to do is start with the idea of being, hey, we want to be able to engineer cells. It's a little bit like building a computer. There are a whole host of component parts that go into it, and we have to aggregate the right technologies. Um, we have to have the right people because ultimately, if you're going to sit on the, the the cutting edge of innovation, it's a lot of this is is about really great people. And and so we started out with a broad group of technology experts who felt like we had a really good idea of what some of the biggest challenges were, and we wanted to put together uh, the technologies that would allow us to go after that and put the capital base around that to be an enduring company. You know, I always think about you know, these uh, little startups, we should lose to big companies on every single objective parameter that exists, particularly in something like this, where there are a lot of fixed costs in manufacturing and scale that we have to overcome. And we have one competitive advantage. We make better decisions. We can make faster and better decisions. And we get there because we have better people, we have greater focus, and we have better communication. If you really hire one of the true world leaders in something, it is pretty amazing and if they're truly great leaders too, how quickly teams form around them. Right? They don't, they're not just, they're not just leaders, they create followership.